scared to be who you are. You should never be scared of what influences you. At the end of the day, that's what's gonna make you different. That's why he's making friends. That's why she's influencing people. And that's why his work is internationally known. He's himself. He's unapologetically who he is. No that's matter true. what you're gonna say, he's gonna be who he is. And if you don't like him, it's gonna be fine. If you love him, then you're gonna have a great friend. At the end of the day with me, it's all about being authentic to me. I don't worry about what anybody else is doing. I work at my own pace and I create what I want to see. At the end of the day, everybody complains about what they're missing, right? I want to be an educator. I want to talk. I want to be sponsored by a clipper company. I want to cut celebrities, but nobody goes out and does it because everybody just sees the dream. Everybody says, I want to cut celebrities, but nobody knows what it's like to be booked on a Friday and one of your A-list celebrities says, you gotta come and fly four hours to cut my hair and then fly back the same day. You know, I, I wanna cut so-and-so, I wanna cut so-and-so. Most of the people that are cutting these celebrities, they don't even advertise it. You wouldn't know Vinny, who he cuts. This dude cuts everybody on the Anaheim Angels. Everybody, the hockey team, all that stuff. Sometimes, the teams that I cut and the teams that he cuts face each other. So we're over here BSing about which team's gonna win, the one with the better haircuts. Clearly. I always win. But. Hey, look good, play good. <laughs> <laughs> Next week or wherever I was gonna go, Brazil in a little bit, I would have never thought that seven years ago. I was a little hoodlum in the street doing stupid stuff on the east side of Orlando. My east side is right there, I see you. I'm my people from my, I got to, I got to rep you. That's my, that's my crew right there, all the face back home. But, uh, that's what I was doing. I wasn't really doing it. I couldn't see it. But now looking back seven years ago and going, wow, this is where I'm at, I can really predict where I'm going to be seven years. So it's not going to be overnight. It might be for some people. I would say it's always the first step. I had a couple people come and say, hey, I'm doing this. I'm just starting. The most important thing is to start. Don't think about it. Start now. If not, you're going to... Florida? I'm like, hell yeah, I do. Frank the Barber. And they're all man. wrestlers, too. They all... All pro wrestlers, man. <laughs> And it's and what's cool is like and, and like and, and like he was saying, you don't even know some you know there's some people out there, you know there's a lot of people that cut celebrities. They don't post that up, man. You know there's a, there's a lot of people that there's a lot of sleepers. Like I see people and I'm like, yo, they sleeping on this guy. They don't they don't know. Like we was talking to Ivan Zoo in the back over here, and a lot of people sleep on Ivan Zoo. Might not know who Ivan Zoo is, but Ivan Zoo got a, a Guinness World Record of haircuts, the most yep. fastest haircuts in the world. Like you know what I mean? Like how many how many in an hour? I, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 34 haircuts a lot, in one hour. A lot. I don't even know. Holds That's Guin the Guinness World Record. Holds Guinness World Record for fastest haircut. The most haircut. The most haircut in 24 hours. The most haircut and, in an And hour. you would know that because he's, he's just, social media is not like, you know what I mean? Social media made it as good, but it's bad because you won't know Vinny cuts up all the WCW wrestlers. You know what I mean? All them guys. Until I'm getting a call and like, hey, Vinny called me. And he said it. I'm like, oh, shit. Absolutely. You pass them on. You take care of each other. And the one thing that I really want to press with all of us, it costs us nothing to support each other. Ooh. Any piece of Frank Barber merchandise he has, I'll wear it. That doesn't devalue my brand. That shows that I have love for this industry. I'm wearing a homie's pin right now. I don't have any of my own gear on. Like, we need to support each other. We need to boost each other. When people talk about Lady Barber, and you know Lady Barber, Sophie's a barber. When they talk about Cosmo, it don't matter if you're Cosmo. If you cut hair, you cut hair. So we all need to stand together and support each other and elevate all of us together. So. That's right. Let's get nice at that fading. We're going to have an issue. Yeah. Because I don't see no barbers taking long hair classes. Nope. I'm telling you, you better get used to them shears because them stylists, once they learn how to fade, it is, I do them every week in a different state. And they're there like this. And what? Line of demarcation, graduation, prior to Ridge, obstacle bone, higher and lower recession. Like there's so much more, so much more. There's a lot that goes into that though. Yep. You cannot. You cannot. stage right now. Once again, like I said to you guys earlier, these four individuals on here has been nothing but a privilege in my own life as peers, colleagues, 
and more so friends. Uh, you guys inspire me and you guys inspire the masses. I appreciate you guys up here doing your thing for this whole hour. You guys killed it. Everybody clap it up one more time for Babylon's Pro. Uh, give it a round of applause. That's a cordial clap right there. Thank you, bro. Let me see you guys make some noise. DJ Morse Code. All right, nobody go anywhere. We're gonna keep this going. A lot of amazing educators and entertainment still on the way. Once again, this is Barbershop Connects. Road to Barbacon in beautiful Los Angeles, California. My name is Julius Caesar. DJ Morse Code's on the ones and twos. In a beautiful Echo Plex. The Barber Stage powered by Gillette. Let's go. Stay. Don't show her because we're so confident. So that means we gotta build our confidence to actually sell that. Because the person that sits in your chair is only gonna be as confident as you are. Okay? And you better do it from the bottom to the top. Okay? So just adding different stuff. Working on stuff that you need to work on. Don't you're gonna see that comes. You start feeling more confident. And with more repetition, that's where the confidence comes. Remember I said